Bernard Lagarde, head of the uh, Carlsbad 5000, coming out last year, you know, kind of ran American record, kind of didn't, uh, <laughs> back here again this year, you know, what are your thoughts on last year, I guess, and, you know, what are you trying to do tomorrow? Um, my thoughts from last year is that, you know, we ran hard, we ran really to get the record and I think we tried as much as we could and you know when you look at the time and the effort I put in there that made me happy that you know what I was able to come here and do the best I could and come in second to Dijen Gabriel Maskell who, was, who won the fourth time was not a bad, uh, bad uh, showing at all at the uh, Carlsbad 5000 meters. And what was the goal for uh, Sunday? Uh, my goal for Sunday is to run 13.20. I've always wanted to run American record which is 13 which is 1324, but I want to run 1320. That is my my goal. Whether if I want, if I win or not, uh, I would like to get that time. That is the most important thing. You announced uh, a couple of weeks ago you're going to be doing a 10k road race, first time ever. I guess. Yes. Um, wondering why did you choose roads as opposed to track? What went into the decision to run that? You know, I've always uh, wanted to do something different on the roads uh, because I've run track for a long time. But that doesn't mean like I'm going away from the you know running track races but I just want to mix it up a little bit you know as I you know got older I just wanted to experience the other side of uh, running which is not normally what I normally do which is like the, you know on the track so I'll be doing these road races a little bit at 5,000 meters 10,000 meters just to make sure that you know I just mix it up a little bit especially like with the 5,000 meters like this I really enjoyed it last year I had a lot of fun and then the opportunity to run with Gabriel uh, Ailey Capital Selassie in Manchester, 10K. That is something that I don't want to pass along. I mean, to pass a lot uh, along, and so, so that's why I want to go there and then to uh, do the best I can. Is that going to play into your thinking at all? Maybe going after one the track, like how you do there, or you know, is it still just 5,000 only? It's, track? it's still going to be 5,000, especially as we get ready for the uh, Beijing World Championship. So mm -hmm. 5,000 meters is still my event, and that's the only one I'm going to be focusing on. Uh, tonight, World Cross Country happening, you know, across the world in yes. China. I don't know, have you been following the U.S. team or are you going to be watching that race, trying to keep up with that? Oh yes, I'm, in fact I was telling my coach, please, if I don't get to watch it, please update me because he's the head coach for the right. women team. Mm -hmm. And so I told him, please update me. So I'm sure my phone is going to be ringing soon. But if I was to ever able to follow, I now go, go to my room now and then be able to follow that because that is interesting. In fact, I've got, you know, people that are running there that I know and even, even not some Americans and then some are not and for example my training partner that is now living in Australia David McNeil is running and so I want to see how he's going to do as well. Do you have any feelings what do you think the Americans are going to do out there American man? You know what Derek Chris Derek is you know he's a guy that is really feeling good he looks so great and you know what I think United States is going to do well so the guys are, are strong and you know what they're going to do the best that they can and hopefully bring home you know the gold medal for the team. You think Derek can medal? I think he's going to medal. Yeah. He's very strong. Yes, my money is on that man. He's going to medal. All right. Yes. Well, uh, hold you to that. Yes. Um, so you got a couple new additions to your training group recently: Lenny Correa, uh, Sam Chalanga. Uh, but like you, Kenyans who came in, ran the college system, now sticking around the American, uh, you know, road scene, track scene. Uh, Coach Lee, he's got a, b a bunch of you guys who did that yes. same transition. I'm wondering, you know, is there something about him that sort of people in your situation gravitate towards, or you know, why do you think they chose him? Oh yeah, I think because first of all is the success that my, and my coach has had with the coaching me and coaching people like La Willa Lang in college, and he's a very nice man. He can accommodate people. He can really train you as an individual rather than just mass training and then if you pick it up and it works for you that's fine but he me wants to tailor the training to you to fit you who you are your event and your strengths capitalize on your strengths work on your weaknesses and so that is what athletes like if an athlete like Sam Jelenga asked me about my coach I tell him exactly what my coach has ever uh, done for me he has changed the way I run he has trained me to pick at the right time he listens, he adjusts accordingly, you know, the training accordingly. And so I like the coach like that. And so I would say the reason why even the guys who graduate from college, like, you know, Stephen Sambu, Lawi Lelang, and people like, you know, were able to stay in Arizona with the coaches because they don't see anybody else who can actually do as good as my coach. And it is the testament that we have for the coach. And at the same time, when we have people like Leonard Correa, we have Sammy Jalanga coming over here, my sister Viola, she was in Colorado Springs. Now she's training with us in Tucson. That is the, the you know, it tells you a lot about the, the coach. It tells us also about 
the support group that we have in Tucson. The the way we run over there, we have all the races, I mean the roads that we can run on. Winter time, we capitalize on that. We take advantage of the winter to train hard because we can train every time we want. Sure. And that is the most important thing. Jelanga was in New Hampshire. Now he's coming to Tucson. He realizes, man, this is one place. We can train 24-7 if you have to. And that is the kind of stuff about Tucson, which we like. You know, For me and Abdi, we are the oldest there. We are the seniors. And we, we are happy as we get older to see these young guys coming to train with us. They can benefit from the little that we can offer. And we benefit a lot from them running strong. And so it, it is like a win-win situation as well. When you first came over for college in the United States, yes. Washington State, was there anything in particular he really helped you with in terms of you know, adjusting to the American system? My coach treated me like he was like my brother, you know, and then at the same time I was far away from home. But then he understood what I was going through, he understood me as a person, because also he came from another country himself, and so he understood exactly how he, would, he got treated, and then he wanted to treat me the same way. Um, he was treated so because he was made to really well I mean he was welcome he he knew the struggles that he could he went through and so he didn't want so he knew exactly how to treat us he could understand he could really talk to us in a way that you could say like this guy gets me he understands me very well and I was so comfortable with him that's why over the years you know the relationships have even grown stronger because I've realized this guy is you know I never doubted my coach he's, he has the best interest uh, you know my best interest you know at heart and so that is the stuff that wants me to uh, believe that you know this is the guy that I would like to stick with for the rest of my life in terms of training as a coach as a mentor and as, as a friend and he's a good friend of my kids too so you know he loved Gianna and Nika and my wife Gladys. Uh, last question new course yes. they changed it from last year what do you think? Yes I think it's going to be fast I look at the today you know the turns are wide enough it's not as wide as like the indoor track, but hey, it is awesome. It's going to be great. We've got two rounds to run here. The fans are going to be watching from both sides. This is going to be fast, and I believe we can run fast All right. on Sunday. Thanks for time.